Shem Adonai. Bruchim Abayim B'Shem Adonai. Blessed are you, Tara and Dan, who come here in the name of God, You're the source of power, blessing, and glory. Bless these loving companions, Dan and Tara. Amongst all your friends and family, we are delighted to be here so with you today. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> you know what? It's very good that you're feeling it. That is certainly what is important today. This glass is very special to Dan, special to his mother of blessed memory. And we remember her very much today. We stand under this chupa, which Dan's mother helped to actually quilt long ago. And it is remarkable, though, we feel her absence today, that we also certainly feel her presence. So as we share the wine from this precious cup, so may you, under God's guidance, share contentment, peace, and fulfillment in the cup of life. You find life's joys heightened, its bitterness sweetened, all of its moments hallowed by true companionship and love. I who sanctifies our people Israel through Kiddushin, the sacred rite of marriage, at this chupa, at this wedding canopy. I invite you both to take a sip. Dan, if you will repeat these words after me. Hare at. Hare at. Mikudeshet li. Mikudeshet li. Betabaat zo. Betabaat zo. Kedat. Kedat. Moshe. Moshe. Ve'Yisrael. Ve'Yisrael. And that means, by this ring, you are consecrated to me as my wife, according to the laws of Moses and Israel. Hare Ata. Hare Ata. Mikudash Li. Mikudash Li. Betabaat Zo. Betabaat Zo. Kedat Moshe. Kedat Moshe. Be Yisrael. Be Yisrael. And again, with this ring, you are consecrated to me as my husband, according to the laws of Moses and Israel. Now, Dan and Tara also both wrote vows from the heart. Tara, today I choose you to be my wife and my partner in life. I pledge to respect your thoughts and abilities and to give you strength to reach your dreams. I promise to take care of you, to encourage and inspire you, and ask that you will be no other than yourself. Tara, I do know and will never forget that special night that I looked into your eyes and found the woman for me. That, that, excuse me. that night meant a lot to me, as you know. It was when I knew you would be, we would be together forever. You are everything I need, everything I want, and at this moment, I feel that all of my wishes have been granted. I know that our love is heaven sent, and I promise my love to you forever and always. Our life together will take us on many adventures, some good, others not so good but there is not anyone I would rather have by my side. Tara, from this day forward, you shall not walk alone. My heart will be your shelter, and my arms will always be your home. <laughs> I can't read them. <laughs> but I tell them I did make it up. These are Tara's words. <laughs> but I made them up. She, she wrote them. As I join my life to yours, I want you to always remember, you're the one I want to be with now and forever. You are the love of my life and you make me happier than I could ever imagine and more loved than I ever thought possible. <clears throat> there are things in my life that I'm not always clear about, but here are three things I know for sure. You're the person I want to be with. This is the relationship I want to be in. And I know our love will last forever. Look at you. <laughs> Get out it. You're making me cry. For good tears. I need the You are my best friend and one true love. There is still a part of me today that cannot believe that I'm the one who gets to marry you. I have no greater gift to give. As your love is my anchor and your trust is my strength, May my heart be your shelter and my arms be your home. 
I see these vows not as promises, but as privileges. Wherever the journey takes us, I want us to go there hand in hand. So I am truly best to be a part of your life, which as of today becomes our life together. I love you so very much, forever and always, my handsome <laughs> You have the support of, Tara, your really close-knit family. You have, of course, the support of your parents of blessed memory who aren't with us, but whose love is here today. And you have the support of one another. One of the things that, Tara, you told me about Dan is that he is always there to support you. And that he also teaches you new things. That, like to cook. <laughs> but if it, that kind of support of learning new things is also about helping you grow into yourself. And likewise, Dan, one of the things you told me about Tara is that she helps you realize how good life is. That she is an optimist that can help you see things in a totally different way. And if it weren't for Tara, your experience in the world would be totally different. And because of that support that you give one another, you now are becoming that one, that unity. I want you to remember this feeling of standing under the chuppah. When times are tough, because they won't always be a wedding day, <laughs> to know that you have each other, that your shelter is the two of you together. That you can, as long as you remember that you are one, that you can survive anything. Make room for each other under your shelter. Mazel tov, you both. So we have this talit. The talit belongs to Dan's nephew, Joshua, and the talit bag belonged to your father. And I want to invite Tara's parents, if you would, come forward to wrap Tara and Dan in this talit. In the presence of all of these loving witnesses, and in keeping with Jewish tradition, you have spoken the words and performed the rites that unite your lives. Dan and Tara, you are now husband and wife, in the sight of God, the Jewish community, and all people. After Dan steps on the glass, we will all wish them a hearty mazel tov. to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Dan and Tara Gaynor.
family is hard. Well, finding family is easy. Keeping family is hard. When I look at Dan and Tara, I can see that having them around is going to make keeping this family easy. Keeping this family together easy. <laughs> My name is Josh, and I'm the nephew of the bride and groom. Tara and Dan have had a very interesting and amazing relationship so far. From early strange coincidences to thieving pet names, <laughs> I've had the privilege to see my uncle be the happiest he's been in years with this wonderful woman. And I've gotten to know Tara and watch her grow and gain confidence in who she is as an independent person. Even though every third sentence is her asking Dan if what she's doing is right. <laughs> After four years of living in Vancouver, you met Dan and, s and slowly introduced him to the family. I say slowly, as you were afraid that I would not like him. <laughs> w which brings me to a story, a true story, of when I asked my father-in-law for Bella's hand. And this is a true story. When I asked my father-in-law, he offered me $1,000 to get lost. <laughs> And then he upped it to five when I said no. So you know the end of the result of that, we're happily married. So Dan, I just want you to know there's no money offered here. Take her. Dan, we want to welcome you to our family with open arms. Okay, uh, thanks Dave. Well done, Bella, great speech. <laughs> Tara, what can I say? You just, you blow me away. So beautiful tonight. I'm just so filled with emotion of uh, the day, how happy I am that, that we're married. We've been engaged for 15 months, um, and it's been a good 15 months. It's been a fun with the help of Dave and Bella and May. Uh, wonderful people made the whole experience just beautiful and today I'm just I'm so filled with emotion I'm this isn't any of the speech I'm gonna just go on for a little bit you're just gonna have to all be patient <laughs> it's my day <laughs> Tara I can't begin to tell you how happy you've made me over the past few years I'm going to try my best to do it in this speech that I've written, but I just know I'm going to ad-lib somewhere and it's going to be all shaky because I'm just, whew. Ah, Thank you. Yeah, I'll need that. Um, yeah, for Clamp. That's a good word. I'll keep that one. Tara, I've always just wanted to find somebody who would accept me for me, and I could not have found a more perfect person. Um, you allow me to do that like no one else I've met before. I can be silly with you, I can fight with you, I can laugh with you, I can cry with you. You can make me cry quite often. It actually <laughs> reminds, reminds me of our very first date actually. I believe we sat in the car for about 45 minutes and just kind of got teary-eyed with each other for whatever reason. I don't even know what we were talking about. but. Uh, she has the ability to make me feel many, many, many emotions, and I just, I, I love that about you, honey. Um, so I've ad-libbed, and now I've lost my place, but basically you, <laughs> you have made me feel again. You let me bring down my walls, which is not an easy accomplishment, as many of my friends and family know. You've captured my heart, you have my soul, and I will cherish your love forever. You have such a special way about you, you know just when to make me smile, make me laugh, and even cry, and I love it all. You have such a caring nature, such a genuine nature about you that I have never come across before in another human being. And I will always be the fortunate one that, has that you have chosen, that you have chosen to love and be with. I want you to know that I will always be there for you for good times, bad times, and sick times. We have the most special qualities any relationship can have. We communicate, and like Josh said, us gainers are not good at communicating, and you've made me do it better than I've ever done it before. We laugh together, we respect one another, and we understand each other. To me, this is love. Knowing that you are the one that I want to come home to, 
to share all my thoughts, desires, passions, triumphs, and even tragedies with. I am secure in knowing that you will always be there for me, and I am thrilled that I am the one that will always be there for you. Everything about us is just so perfect. It's eerie but true. How we met, as Josh said again, he stole part of my speech. Did you get, like, get a copy of this or what? <laughs> but those eerie coincidences when we first met, the, even now they still, they still continue at the beginning of our relationship. How our relationship has gr grown and become stronger and stronger each day. You are a very inquisitive lady as many of you know in this room, Tara likes to ask a million questions and I swear to God on our first date, she must have asked me 250 questions easily. It was just a beautiful thing. It just, I met, I met an amazing woman. I certainly did. You wanted to get inside my heart and you did. You have my heart, you didn't steal it, but I gave it to you as I knew you would be the one to keep it safe. In return, I was lucky enough to have received yours as well. I cannot be a luckier man to have given such a greatest gift as you. I have only one regret in meeting Tara. She's such a wonderful woman. I just wish you had the opportunity to meet my mother. She would have adored you, she would have cherished you, and she would have loved you as I did. Um, where am I? <laughs> Tara, you are everything I wanted more. You are my best friend, you are my perfect girl. I will never forget the way you looked at me on our third date. You made me melt, and I never melted before. Those big brown eyes burned into my soul that night. You left your mark, and I knew we would be together forever. So Tara, that's my speech to you. I, 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 I'm, just, I'm just thrilled. I'm thrilled that we're married today. I'm thrilled that we're gonna be together forever, and I love you so much. God. And then now we've got the rocking. Oh God. Oh God. And then, are we going to get arrested? <laughs> cop walks in, cop walks in and starts talking to the, to the, oh, I told him the story, and starts talking to the, to the yogurt guy. And then comes out, and then the yogurt guy comes flying out with him, and the cop yells at the yogurt guy. So now I knew, you know, we were good. He's yelling at this guy. He was obviously irritated, and we were good. So the, so the, the cop's, you know, talking to me. He's, he's looking down at me, and he's looking over his shoulder, and he sees Tara. Oh, God. Oh, God. And then he says, ma'am, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I'm, I'll be okay. I'm fine. So this is from Tara to Mom, Dad, and Grammy. Remember when I said if I ever got married, I didn't want food at my wedding? Well, check your bill because things have definitely changed. We made it through quite a tough journey. I could not be more blessed and grateful for all of you, for all you have done for me, and all the support each and every one of you gave me. Because of you, I am standing here today healthy, happy, and marrying the man of my dreams. The three of you did a remarkable job in molding me into the woman I am today. Each and every one of you has guided me in such a special way. Dad, you taught me to be a strong, independent woman and gave me the language I needed to do that. <laughs> you know, I could go on about that, but we'll, we'll let that go. Mom, you bless me with a kind, sensitive heart, a heart full of love that I can share with Dan. My beautiful Grammy, you are such an amazing woman, a woman with so much pride and motivation and a heart filled with gold. I can't express how much I love you. Today would not have been possible without all the love you have given me, the guidance you have shown me, and endless inspiration. I love you all dearly. By the way, don't think for a moment, because I am married, that you are free of me and my phone calls. Dan will need the break. And that's Tara's speech to mom, dad, and Grammy. Beautiful speech. <laughs>